Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your second assembly for term two. So it's the 1st of May and it is the feast day of St. Joseph the Worker. So it's a pretty new feast day. It was only brought into, um, into play in the 1950s. But it's worth reflecting on because we're a Josephite school and we're all working really, really hard at the minute. Um, it's makes me really proud, makes me really proud to see so much of the good stuff that's going on in your, in your homes, but also in the classrooms, those students who've been attending. And I just want you to know that all of the teachers here, myself included, we are all aware of how hard this has been and what a big transition it's been for you and your families to get two weeks of online learning under your belt. And it makes me really happy and incredibly pleased to see some of the uh, really positive behaviours that are coming through from our entire college, from those from those in prep all the way to the year 12s. So what we're doing here as a college is we're tracking every single student and your engagement and your learning and your behaviours online and we're making sure that no one's left behind. And no one is at the minute, which makes you really happy. But please, for the next week, look after yourselves, take care. I hope you have a good long weekend. The uh, isolation and... Um, social distancing rules relax slightly tonight and that will hopefully see you have a bit of a better weekend than have gone for the past couple of weeks and you know by supporting each other we'll get through this but thank you so much for your ongoing hard work it really is appreciated enjoy the assembly we are not the first people to have been educated or who have worked in partnerships with each other on this land. Whether we are at school or working from home, let us take a minute to remember that for a long time, two tribal groups have spent time together, learning from each other, negotiating friendships, following rules and playing with the world around them. The Jarawa and Gaibal people of the Greater Waka Waka Nation have been participating in these activities since the beginning of time, when the Creator Spirit sent them to earth and we acknowledge them for this. For tens of thousands of years, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people have lived in a complex and spiritual relationship with the land, trees, waterways, animals, birds and each other. I pay my respects to Elders past and present and thank them for their wisdom and knowledge which has guided us since millennia. May their wisdom and knowledge help us to be aware of God's hope for humanity, to show us forgiveness and mercy so that we can walk together as one united Australia. Last week, students in our senior school learnt how to say hello in the Jarawa Aboriginal language. Students in our junior school were also reminded of how to say hello. Let's practice it again together now. When we say hello in the Jarawa language, we say Gumba Daru. Can you all say it now? Gumba Daru. Language identifies who we are and where we come from. We use the languages we speak to express all that we feel and know. When we lose a language, we, use, we lose the unique knowledge and perspectives of the people that speak it. For tens of thousands of years, hundreds of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander languages have been spoken across Australia. These languages hold a unique and rich part of our heritage. We are learning to speak in the Jarawa language as the Jarawa peoples are some of the traditional owners of the land where our college is today. The Gaibal peoples are also said to be traditional owners of this area and we will learn some of their language in the future. Today we will learn how to say welcome in Jarawa language. The word we use for welcome is wanya. Can you practice saying it now? Wanya. Now you can say hello to people, Gumbadaru, or welcome, Wanya when you see them. Remember by saying Gumba Daru and Wanya regularly in our everyday speech, we are helping to keep an ancient Australian language alive. Gumba Daru, welcome everyone. This week, as I present the Westie Awards, I wonder how you're going with being a Westie at home. Are you welcoming the support from mum and dad? Are you trying to encourage your family with their online learning? Are you saying sorry and thank you? Are you being inclusive with your fun activity so that everyone is being part of that? Are you being enthusiastic with your online learning? Here are this week's awards. The prep students. 
From Prep Koalas, Ethan Hart. From Prep Possums, Sophie Butler. From Prep Bilbies, Rocco Brown. Year One Students. From One Ginderbine, Alicia Abraham. From One Argyle, Miles Kent. From One Air, Harrison Andrews. Year Two Students. From Two Silky Oak, Samuel O'Leary. From Two Gravillia, Bryson Schick. From Two Coolabar, Samuel McCodder. From Two Banksia, Michael Otto. For Year Three Students. From Three Tabletop, May Davies. From Three McPherson, Kate Scrivens. From Three Kynock, Penelope Doyle. Year Four Students. From Four Gary, Benjamin Kent. From Four Bunya, Sienna Hia. From Four Keppel, Lexi McCotter. Year Five Students. From Five Belond, Laylee Schick. From Five Warrigo, Nicholas Carrigan. From Five M, McIntyre, Sienna Schmaling. Year Six Students. From Six Morton, Adele Adams. From Six Fraser, Henry Cleary. And from Six Stradbroke, Alum Cam. Congratulations to all our winners this week. I hope that everyone is enjoying their learning at home. And I hope that you're trying to be the best Westie that you can be. Congratulations. Thanks everyone. Good morning everyone. And welcome to what I think is the very best part of our weekly assembly, the Making Learning Real Awards. I might be just a teensy bit, uh, bit biased, but um, it is my, my passion. So let's find out who our recipients are for this week. In prep, we have Harry Haslam, Louis Bonomi, and Lachlan Adams. In year one, Lily Beasley, Jeremy Morris, and Archie Wells. In year two, we have Alex Lopez, Cody uh, Janak, Jankowski, Bo Curry, and Samantha Eulenstein. In year three, we have Abby O'Day, Ebony Herbener, and Grace Ward. In year four, Eliza Skews, Cooper Dimmick, Olive McKenzie. In year five, Lachlan Roach, Sophie Reeves, and Leah Franklin. And in Year 6, Quinn Dungey, Gabriella Simmons and Kiana Logan. Well done. Congratulations. Um, you've obviously been very uh, working very hard on your online learning over the week. I wait in anticipation to see who our award recipients are next week. A big congratulations again. Well done. Good morning, everyone. It's great to see all your smiling faces. Welcome to the wellbeing part of our assembly. First of all, I'll talk about our house challenge for this week. Uh, last week, there was some fantastic entrance and you'll see a video of that very soon. This week, our house challenge is going to be a trick shot challenge. So I want you to get any piece of equipment, could be any sport, it could be um, some dominoes, use a hoop, use a goal, use a wheelie bin, um, doesn't matter what you use, be creative, send in your videos or your pictures. Um, it's really awesome to see all the smiling faces when people do get involved. So challenge yourself, have a go at it. And I'm really excited to see what people can come up with their trick shot this week. So again, this week we have a number of wellbeing activities available for people to get involved in. We've got our Mac Fit. So there was thank you to the Wan family who sent in a bottle flip challenge where the whole family got involved. 
there's that. There's also a kick it challenge that Miss Nehemiah and Mr. Brunner and Mr. Griffiths are showing on the screen right now. Um, that's within our MacFit. There's all of our learn to breathe activities and other things within all of our um, resources. There's also a calendar for the month of May available on our wellbeing page, just with wellbeing activities for the different ages. So have a look online on our wellbeing page. Um, thank you to everyone who's getting involved. I've had some phone calls with people and everyone's saying that there's different things that the family's doing. Interact as much as you want or as little as you want, but please do get involved as much as you can. I think Miss Nehemiah gets one in pretty soon. Um, but yeah, please do check it out and please do get involved. There we go. Good work, Miss Nehemiah. Take your marks. Go. On your marks, get set and go, Penny. Good morning students and good morning families. It's now time to talk positive learning behaviours. Before we get onto our positive learning behaviours for week three, um, I'm really proud of how people went about their learning last week online. And because of this, we had 216 children in the junior school awarded a Joey point. Well done. What does this mean? It means that we're still recording those points on charts at school for you. And it also means that you have earned some house points for the house that you belong to. Well done, keep it up, and let's see what our positive learning behaviours are for next week. It's a head behaviour for everyone in junior school. But in prep, NG1 and year two, this is your positive learning behaviour. Follow the instructions you are given for learning. Those instructions might be from an adult. They might be on a piece of paper. They might be instructions that you are getting through on a device. It's really important that you listen. It's really important that you watch or reread something if you need to. And before you start a task, please make sure you understand what the instructions are before you get on with your learning. So prep year one, year two, follow the instructions you are given for learning. Students in year three, four, five, and six, your positive learning behavior is utilize feedback provided by your teacher. This feedback might come in different forms. It might come through the device that you're using in a written way. It may come through a Teams meeting or a chat that you're having with your teacher, 
Well, the feedback might actually come from an adult at home, a parent, a grandparent, a tutor, someone who's working with you. Please take this feedback on, regardless of who's giving it to you, because I'm going to tell you something. Feedback is the most powerful way for you to improve your learning. And it asks you to be very brave. So if you get positive feedback, that means you are on the right track with that task. If you get feedback that's asking you to change what you're doing or to improve something, you need to be brave and you need to take that feedback on board and apply it to the next task, apply it to your learning. Again, it's the most powerful way for you to achieve. Have a great week three, everybody. I look forward to seeing how many Joey points come in for application of the positive learning behaviours and keep up the great work. Good morning, students, and welcome to week two assembly. I hope you've had a fantastic week. Last week, I talked about the learning pit and uh, the skills we learned and the benefit of trying to make it through. Today's deep diagram shows the benefits of that and how it helps if you keep persevering and keep building the skills. Um, I love that example of um, every time you overcome something, you're, it's like your body and your brain um, building a bridge. So the next time you face those challenges, instead of just going through the big challenges like, just like last time, you are now going a lot faster and a lot easier because you have learned to develop the skills. And for today's assembly, I want to acknowledge some of the students that um, have demonstrated this over the week. Um, your teachers uh, have been providing some feedback on how all the students are traveling. And we had countless number of students who teachers have noticed have uh, uh, shown amazing work under difficult circumstances. So today, I just want to look at a, a couple um, and I, I don't have time to go through every single one. Hopefully next week we'll acknowledge some other students. So first up in my list over here, we've got Charlie Crawford, year eight. Well done, Charlie. Um, HP and digital literacy. Your teacher mentioned that um, you are completing and accessing all the work, uh, not only on time, but it is actually at a very high standard. So well done, Charlie. You keep going and keep giving your best. Anastasia Golubic, I hope I pronounced your name right, in year seven um, in, in digital literacy, done all the work and is actually ahead of the classwork given. So that's just like uh, not coasting along, but trying to give your best, going beyond what is accepted, uh, expected. So well done to you. Um, in year 10 history, Lane Richardson, not only Lane has completed all the standard work, he's also attempted and completed the extension activities. These are ones optional there for students. Again, it shows that in the desire to just learn and keep learning and never miss an opportunity to learn. So well done. Um, again, another example of um, getting out of the learning pit and uh, starting to build that bridge. Um, Dylan Shailing, year 10. Um, experienced technical difficulties with all his online platforms, but he continued to email, continued to access the materials in different forms, and keeping in touch with his teachers and sending his work um, regularly to show that he is actually completing the task. This is fantastic um, evidence of amazing things that students are doing under difficult circumstances. I really want to congratulate those four students and also those others that the teachers have acknowledged, which I will try and um, give to you next assembly. My final one is the Mary Mac points. Obviously, you know the students, um, uh, teachers have been giving you points. We've still been continuing that for the last two weeks um, and entering your data. So randomly, I went through my Excel spreadsheet and just did up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and stopped at a name without looking. And the winner who will get a movie ticket, I think it's it's on Mr. Albion. I don't know if it's a movie ticket, it's a house, a BMW, I don't know. But I think it's a movie ticket that Mr. Albion is going to uh, give to the student. And the winner is in from year eight, Olivia Horrocks. Well done, Olivia, for doing a great job and teachers have recognised you and had awarded you points and you are the winner. Well, hope you have a great weekend, students. Uh, keep working hard. You'll find week three will be even better than week two because a lot of familiar stuff will be happening and we're just going to roll with it. Have a great week and um, do your best. Thank you, Mr. Nika. The BMW will be in the mail, Olivia.
Well done to those students in the junior school and the senior school. Um, what I've done is collated all of the Joey points, the Mary Mac points, all of the people who've contributed to the house challenges, whether that's the obstacle course, the bottle flip, the ball toss challenge. And this is our leaderboard for this week. So Panola still in front. There has been a little bit of movement in the other houses. Tennyson's moved up into second. Well done everyone, get involved as much as you can. And I look forward to seeing our different challenges for the next week. Have a great week. Good morning everybody, it's Miss Cridlin here, Deputy Principal of Mary McKillop Catholic College. Thank you for joining us again for our second online assembly this week. And of course, this congratulations goes out to all those award winners from our MJR awards last week and the fantastic photos that have been sent through. This week, we again talked about making learning real and of course, online learning. And that of course brings with it a number of challenges that I know from last week, even to this week, um, you found it a lot easier to negotiate your way through all the different platforms and you've been engaging with each of your teachers really well. So a huge congratulations and thumbs up to you. Don't forget to continue with your positive online learning behaviours and engaging with the various uh, house challenges to get those points in because of course they will add up to that points ladder. So next week we will join you again. Have a great week. Keep up the fantastic work and a huge thank you to the families who have been supporting you at home and to the teachers here at school who have been working really hard to keep checking in with you and providing that work. Thank you to everyone and stay tuned for our college prayer up next. Bye bye. We will conclude our assembly with our college prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bless our Mary McKillop School family. We pray that everyone will live and work in peace. We pray that everyone will spread happiness. We pray that everyone will show love for one another and love for our God. We pray that everyone will follow the way of Mary McKillop and celebrate God in all things. Amen.